Hi Sagittarius, The Awakened Dreamer here to give you a timeless love tarot reading. So whenever you find yourself guided or drawn to this video, it's most definitely meant for you. And I do want to take this moment to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Please and thank you. And when meditating on your energy overall for the reading, the message that came through was it's us against the world. It's us against the world. So let me shift this on over. And um, I'm going to do the initial shuffling and pull from the Angel Answers Oracle deck. Keep in mind, general timeless love reading for the sign of Sag. Um, Sagittarius, take what resonates, leave a dozen due to being general. Whatever placements you have in your chart, all of which apply. And of course, cross watchers are welcome to join. Um, and as well, I'm accepting requests this time for personal readings. So just shoot down to the description box below where you'll see my email, uh, the options pricing, just reach out. All right. For Sagittarius, thank you, Spirit. Timeless love. Ooh. I just want this one. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. I saw a peaceful resolution. And there's kind of a peaceful feeling to this reading. Yes, be assertive. Okay, we're going to go with those two. So with yes... Say yes to change, say yes to doing things together, say yes to commitment, say yes to this connection that feels right. It feels like you guys are kind of coming together, feeling magnetically uh, drawn to each other to do new things together, to experience things together. Stay positive, stay optimistic. It feels like, you know, you can tackle whatever uh, problems arise or whatever, you know, feels a bit rocky at times. But it just feels like, you know, you guys will uh, overcome it all. Say yes to uh, doing it with them. Be assertive. There seems to be a bit of jealousy surrounding at this time where some nosy sort of opinionated individuals, potentially low vibrational and a need to be assertive with them and kind of set up a level of boundaries moving forward to help uh, maintain a level of peace within your connection. Feeling like some people might want to tear you guys apart or it might feel as if you're being judged to a certain extent. Feeling like you just need to kind of put your foot down and be like, listen, this is my person. Or, you know, I'm just trying to see where things go. Allow for, uh, wow, that shocked me, I'm so sorry. Um, allow for yourself to take things step by step, day by day, as you guys figure things out together. Feeling like you're kind of balancing both of your worlds out and just trying to figure out how to mesh them in a beautiful way. Okay, so we're gonna pull some tarot. Bear with any background noise. Thank you, Spirit, to continue Sagittarius's love. Okay. Can you see them? Perfect. All right. I think that's it. All righty, let's see here. So we're beginning with the King of Wands. The Tower. I feel like there's going to be a highlight or you'll find yourself thinking about past relationships that didn't work out. At times fearing the worst, you know, at times not wanting the connection between you and your person to fall apart. But a need to kind of keep it optimistic, positive and learn from those past connections, but don't overthink them or think about them too much. There's a feeling that they will pick up on the vibe that you're sort of thinking about them or uh, thinking negatively. All right, keep it positive. All right, so, um, well, we're not gonna put that there. That felt wrong. But the King of Wands to begin the spread. You'll find yourself feeling a little awkward at times or feeling like things are just a little off between the two of you, but you need to continue or bring in a level of confidence uh, about your connection. It'll go places. You guys will go places. I feel some of you will be traveling, finding the other person kind of outshining you at times. It's us against the world. We can do this. I'm saying yes to us changing the dynamic or continuing a level of uh, success between us. And it feels like you're going to enjoy each other's company to the furthest extent 
but again, a need to block certain people and situations out at times, feeling like it's when you're with them, it you just everything else kind of fades away uh, until certain annoyances pop up or something they do, it bothers you. But just remember, it's the two of you uh, moving forward and you need to believe that it's going to be possible. It just feels like one of you wants to take charge and the other kind of uh, gives into that. Uh, or at times both of you feeling kind of confident in that take charge manner and it works in a powerful way. And then the five of wands. When a little bit of conflict pops up or you feel like it's a bit of a battle between the two of you, just remember that it's a small uh, rough patch. It doesn't feel like the perfection within the connection is going to last forever. It just feels like it goes up and down at times. But just remember that you guys are meant to achieve things together again, to experience new things together. And you need to sort of uh, block out any sort of chaos or drama that surrounds you guys at this time, feeling like at times your family or friends, again, want to sort of chime in or add, a, bring their drama into the situation. And it's like, the two of you kind of need to just do your thing. Don't be dramatic. Some of you feeling the need to kind of bring a level of drama into the connection at times, and it will sort of uh, make things more chaotic or uh, again, dramatic. And it, it's just a bit unnecessary. Say yes to less drama, less um, difficulties. Feeling like things will kind of change moving forward as long as you allow it to. The Six of Swords. It's time to sail away from people, places, and situations that no longer work for you. Some of you picking up and moving with this individual or allowing for um, you to move away from certain people and situations temporarily so you can gain a better perspective on your relationship feeling like uh, people make you doubt yourself or the connection at times. And you just remembering that, you know, you can tackle anything, but you just feel a bit stronger or more uh, confident when you're with them or just knowing that they're a part of your life, feeling as if uh, once again, you have to be assertive and be like, this is what's happening with our connection. Uh, let's just move forward. Feeling at times you or the other person puts on a bit of a facade, uh, feeling a bit showy but at the same time just know that that's purposeful they're trying to sort of learn how to be vulnerable with you interesting and we're moving forward where we have the seven of swords okay secrecy it feels like the two of you are not going to want to tell other people in in your life or in general about what's happening uh it feels like you're making certain changes between the two of you again moving or some of you marriage or just taking your connection to the next level, putting a label on it. However it works for you, it feels like you're not telling other people. It just feels as if, again, the, there's a level of chaos or drama, opinions, judgments that could just add uh, complications. It feels like some of you have a past situations, maybe not even love-oriented, but for some it was where things became overcomplicated because of you telling too much to other people. So feeling as if what happens between the two of you stays between the two of you. One of you might feel more secretive than the other. It feels as if you guys are learning more about each other as you grow and develop together. Don't allow yourself to, um, don't assume that they're keeping things from you. It just feels like one of you might have a harder time opening up than the other individual. Six of Pentacles. Keep it on the down low is what I'm hearing. And I'm hearing uh, posts on social media should be limited. Interesting. That was for a select few. But with the Six of Pentacles, it feels as if gifts of abundance will flow in. You're going to find yourself um, learning more about each other and allowing for the connection to make you feel abundant, right? I'm seeing sort of uh, rain happening. You might have a special kind of movie sort of moment with rain in the rain. Dancing in the rain is what I'm hearing. This connection just making you feel like you're living a movie or you're just, you've met the one. And it just feels like whatever comes your way, you can accomplish it together. You can overcome it together. Feeling like they help you with certain issues in your life um, or it's a, potentially a bit of a healing connection. But it's like this abundant sort of confident feeling comes over the connection as you allow for things to develop and grow in the way they're meant to.
stay together, be together, and it just feels like you'll question things at times, but just remember to uh, take a deep breath and just um, look within, for trust that intuition. You know things are going to work out between the two of you. And it just feels like things at times feel a little bit less complete, and then you get together with them, or you go on a date, or you guys do something uh, together, and it feels more complete. For some of you, they bring a level of inner peace into your situation, feeling like, again, you have a lot of chaos or drama in your life, or you feel as if, um, at times, one of you gets a little bit dramatic or a little bit chaotic or frustrated, angry, and then the other one sort of calms them down. That's beautiful. A level of balance coming back when things kind of feel out of whack. And then this Five of Cups to finish up the spread. And as you move forward, you're going to find yourself at times wanting to focus on, or the other person, focus on what's going wrong or what could go wrong. Uh, feeling as if at times a lot of you want to compare your past connections to this relationship. And feeling as if you have to just kind of sail away from those doubts, those uh, past connections. Leave the past behind and accept that it doesn't have a place uh, or a comparison to this current situation. Feeling like the two of you have a beautiful future together. Um, with a lot of changes and developments, but allowing yourself to stay positive and optimistic as you do what you need to, um, to improve the connection or to level things out in one way, shape, or form. Feeling like, again, it, you will learn more things about their past. It, as you do try to keep your cool, it feels like they're going to open up to you more so, and you'll open up to them more so. It might feel kind of one-sided in that sense, but as things improve or as things continue to grow between the two of you, as feelings continue to grow, allow yourself to feel, to be okay with this level of secrecy you guys have uh, between the two of you uh, or as, you know, against the world. Interesting. Spirit definitely made me say it that way. And feeling as if, once again, you don't have to tell people what you guys are about to do uh, or what's changing between the two of you. Keeping things on the down low as you remember and are being reminded by Spirit and Universe, it's the two of you against the world. All right. So Sagittarius, I hope this reading was truly helpful. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to uh, send me an email about booking a personal reading. Wishing you nothing but the best. Sending love and light. And I'll see you next time. Bye, Sagittarius.